So the pattern that we've been following up till now is always learning how to draw a graph and then after that we learn how to work out the equation if they've given us the graph and that's what we're going to do now for a hyperbola. But to be able to do that you need to use the right formula. For example I wouldn't say y equals to mx plus c here because things are going to go horribly wrong because that is for a straight line. This is a hyperbola. Now hyperbolas have these equations where the x is at the bottom and then they've got this so I've used a and q but you could use anything remember we've looked at this in previous equations so you could even use k and w what's important is that you've got y on the left and you've got x as the denominator like that now from what I've seen most teachers and textbooks are going to use this over here so we said usually finding the q value is the easiest because it tells you if a graph has been moved up or down well a normal hyperbola that has not been moved up or down would simply look like that it would go very close to the x-axis however we can see that this graphs asymptote is not the x-axis but it's rather the line y equals to 1 which means that the graph has been moved one unit upwards and so q has a value of positive 1 how many more letters do we need to find only one so what should we do I really hope people at home are saying substitute very nice so if you only have one more letter to find then what you need to do is substitute and so we plug in that point so the y value there is 3 the x value there is 1 and so a over 1 is just a plus 1 and then you take the 1 over to the left hand side where it becomes 3 minus 1 which is 2 and there we are done already so the a value is 2 and the q value is 1 and that is the equation ready to try another one well here we have another hyperbola so your first step is always to find the equations template or use the correct template sorry and so q is always the easiest there it is we know it's been moved up by two units and so y is equal to a over x plus 2 we only have one more letter to find and so we substitute so we substitute that point that I've just circled and so the y value there is 1 and the x value is 2 and so to solve this we can take this 2 over and so that's going to give us 1 minus 2 which is equal to a over 2 on the left hand side we have 1 minus 2 which is minus 1 now there's various ways to solve this but because I'm making a video for for many people I'm gonna keep it as simple as possible but I mean if you are comfortable with just taking this two up to the top there that's absolutely fine but the more structured approach would be to see that this is an equation and there's a fraction and so we need to get a common denominator so the common denominator would be two and so we're gonna multiply this by two and what you do to the bottom you do to the top and so we end up with minus two over two equals to a over two and then because the denominators are now the same you can ignore them so they're gonna go out and so what we actually left with is minus two equals to a and so we have the equation done so a is minus two and the q value is two just a quick word this a value is negative and we said in an earlier video on hyperbolas that when that number is negative then it means that the hyperbola will be in these quadrants which we can see it is over here and over here and if that number is a positive then it's usually in those two quadrants